it going everyone Saints fan here and this video is going to be a fairly short one I'm just sort of making this to close the book so to speak on all of this Liberty City DLC stuff that's been happening I mean this has pretty much consumed the community for the past week ever since FunMW2 did release those tweets last week and just to refresh your guys's memory here are the tweets here so prepare yourself to come back to Liberty City next week is what will decide if it's legit or fake can't wait and I don't know if you guys remember but he had a, a lot of other tweets relating to it he did delete them though and here is the picture that everybody has been up in arms about one thing I will say uh, from some of fun mw2's posts on some of the forums the reason he tweeted this stuff was because somebody told him he had a source that has been reliable about the past three DLCs the executive the lowrider and I think the ill-gotten gains so obviously if he was right about those fun probably trusted this guy and that is why he released this info but obviously in his first tweet he said next week is what we'll decide and that next week he was talking about was the week we are in now and unfortunately at the moment since it is Thursday middle of the day about nothing has come out and we were all thinking that if something were to come out, it would either be today early morning or Tuesday early morning, because that's normally when Rockstar releases their news wires. The interesting part is, Fun mentioned that they would be doing another Asked and Answered, which they haven't done in a while, and Rockstar normally do these about every six months or so, it seems. So this would be a fitting time to release an Asked and Answered, where they could talk about some of the future stuff they have planned, as well as tease the Liberty City DLC. And for all we know, they could have seen all this leaked stuff from FunMW2 and said, you know what, instead of next week, we're going to release it in a few more weeks. That's always a possibility. But at the moment, I would just put this whole Liberty City stuff on the back burner. Don't be expecting anything too soon, it seems. Again, this might not be fake. It just might not be the right time period because somebody brought this up. If they're going to be doing another Lowrider Part 2 DLC in either January or early February, why would they mention a Liberty City DLC? Because then people would save for the Liberty City DLC instead of spending money on the new Lowrider stuff. So there's that to account for. I mean, there's all this stuff that has happened over the past year or two with Sean Fantino teasing us about a DLC, the DJ Who Kid confirming he was in a game, a GTA game set in New York City again. Obviously, the Newswire posts mentioning the single player DLC, even though those were like two years ago. There's all the interviews out there with the GTA Online developers saying that their plans for GTA Online is to expand it and to have, you know, multiple cities in this world of GTA Online. And then last but not least here, I'm going to show a picture or I'm going to show a GIF. I'm just keeping going back and forth between the two pictures. Uh, I'll leave a link to this GIF in the description if you want to check it out in probably better quality than a YouTube video. But it's a GIF of two pictures. The one that FunMW2 leaked cleaned up a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the actual picture. And then it's the same picture with like the white sort of overlay on it but in GTA 4. I showed this in a video a couple days ago and a few people did point out that if you look on the top left in the water on the GTA 4 one, there's no reflections, where in the one Fun MW2 leak, there are reflections. Some of the trees in the Fun MW2 one, they just look more fuller. They don't look like the trees in GTA 4. There's a few signs that are on the interstate in the GTA 4 one that aren't there in the GTA or in the Fun MW2 one. There's just a few differences like that, which led people to believe that that picture wasn't taken from GTA 4. Now, I know there's mods out there, but I think a lot of people sort of cracked down the possibility of mods being added to make it look like that. So that's why people thought that that picture was actually legit and from GTA 5 or from the GTA 5 engine. So my sort of final thoughts on this, and again, this is just my opinion. You can have your own opinion, but I think something will happen this year. I just don't think that they'll announce it as soon as we thought they would. Again, there's just so many things that keep adding up, all the things I just mentioned with the interviews, the Sean Fantino pictures that he teased, the picture looking different. There's just so many things that add up. So I think something will happen, but I just don't think we'll see or hear about it in the near future. That's sort of the final video for the whole Les Los Santos stuff until something major comes out. Just wanted to give you guys an update on where everything's at. So unfortunately, again, there's no proof to say that it's not happening 
and there's no proof to say that it is happening so that's sort of where we're at we're literally right in the middle and at this point everything is just someone's opinion so thank you guys for watching got another video coming up later today and anyway see you guys either in the next video or in 2016 hope you guys have a great night thank you guys for watching and as always it's your boy saints fan i'm out peace